please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Here's a preview. So when we've got a bike set up for the owner, it's never going to stay the same because as oil ages, it changes its viscosity cold to hot and that grows tremendously. So for about somewhere around 800 miles to 1,000 miles, the bike will stay very balanced, very consistent. But if you push and go hard beyond that, then rebound in a countryside environment where you've got, relatively speaking, smoother roads where you go a lot faster, will start to reappear and that means this arm starts to work a lot harder. This grip starts to hold on for longer all the way until the corner ends and then it releases the grip to keep it online. Or you cheat and stay off the gas all the way around the corner and then drive it away. Or you brake all the way around the corner and then drive it away. So the setting here is only good for somewhere around that mileage. So when you have a test day, it's to bring a very analytical self to ride the bike and say, how am I riding my motorcycle now? Which means as you go through long sweeping corners, can you initiate the turn with your left hand, set the corner up, and then the bar stay perfectly still and it doesn't push on you. If it pushes, then rebounds too fast because it's going down and coming up in the corner. So you grip and hold on and keep it on line. That being the case, obviously, and generally when you're out in the countryside, you're not braking like a maniac because everything's open and flowing. And the whole point of riding in the countryside is fun and not having to break and go and break and go. That's, a, that's an urban environment. So the other part would apply then when you decelerate, does it pop you out of the seat slightly? And if that's happening, it's gonna push the front end down. So your braking becomes somewhat less stable because you're up in the air, the back's higher, there's partial loss of grip on the rear, but the front's taking more weight. So you may find that you use more travel in the front compared to what you did before because rebound is too fast in the back and you'll notice that from deceleration. The other part is if you live in an urban environment, everything's abusive. Car drivers, manhole covers, potholes, railway lines, cracks in the road, all manner of objects and pains in the bum that just smash the suspension. So are you gonna notice rebound compared to riding in the countryside? No, you're not. Are you going to notice that when you come to a stop sign that it pops you out of the seat? No, because you're filtering through traffic. What you will notice is that you use a lot more travel all of a sudden on the forks and the shock because that force, when the oil is older and hotter, because it's thinner, it moves faster so you get more travel. So at that point, your testing day in an urban environment is reset your zip tie or put one on and check your shock shaft, how much travel am I using? Is it all clean? Is it at bottom out? And don't forget, in either environment, you gotta mark bottom out first with a black felt pen to know where maximum is. So based on that, a test day is a voluntary situation where you show up and pay attention to those factors. How is the bike riding? How are, you, how are you and your body responding to the way it's riding? Can you relax, can you not? And if you can't and you're fighting the bike, then something's changed. Now to 800 to 1,000 miles, it might be perfect. At 1,500 miles, it might not. So figure out when your test day should be. If you ride leisurely through the countryside and you just enjoy yourself, then maybe 1,200, 1,500 miles is an appropriate interval to bring your brain to the table and go, okay, let's see how it rides now. If you're in an urban environment where it's getting beat up every day, then maybe 800 miles is a better test number for mileage to assess where you're at. In any event, a test day always makes you come back to reality and it 100% stops the adaption process. So you can't come to me and say in 5,000 miles that this is perfect. It isn't, it's a long way from it. All you've done 
is what a best and worst ability is of a human, which is adapt. So having your test day forces you to assess what you have now. So do it and make sure your motorcycle is riding with you, not forcing you to behave a certain way. Okay, so now grab the bus for me. Now we can measure everything up. Yeah. You did my, it's uh, 2018. You did the initial setup at 70 miles. Right. And now we're at, I don't know, 5,000. You set me up last time, it's been a couple years. And how many miles? I'm um, at 17. And previously? Uh, I think it was about 11. Okay, so we got 6,000. Uh, just want to adjust the suspension, make sure it's okay. You did it last time at Thunder Hill, so it's been a while since I adjusted it. Okay, take a seat. What can we do for you? You adjusted it way back in May. It hasn't been adjusted since. How many miles, track days have you put on it since then? Um, one at Thunder Hill. Okay. Um, how many miles since? Probably a couple of thousand. You did it last year. And how long? How many miles since I did it? I would say about 2,500 or 2,000 miles. Okay. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.